Fresh caught walleye. Fresh. still alive. See, that's how fresh he is. Sounds so satisfying when you cut them. Yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are they still alive when you're cutting them open? I don't know. I don't know. The fish have brains. Oh yeah, they got brains. No They're just not as smart as us. They're just not as smart as us. But well, they are smart to run away. Yeah. Play. Can you eat that part? With this? Yeah. Yeah, that's the meat. Oh, that's where the meat comes from? Yeah, that's the filet. Oh, is that, um, what is that, walleye? Yeah. Walleye. Yeah. So we're having walleye for dinner tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because my mom makes good walleye. She makes good walleye? Mm-hmm. Oh, we might have to go to the grocery store if we don't have the products. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know if we got the stuff in there or not. Why is the blood so black? Blade. Why what? does that look silver? What that? That's mm -hmm. the that's the the skin. That's all. One fillet of walleye, right there. Good stuff. Mhm. Mm he really likes the cheeks. The cheeks. It says they're really tasty, and they are. You've had them. Mm-hmm. And they're and it's really good. Cheek meat. Walleye cheeks. I gotta get back and throw all this extra stuff in. Mm-hmm. 
Ew, I see their pee hole. Oh, you see what? Their pee hole. Uh oh. Yeah. Then we go this side. Is he alive or dead? I don't know. Hopefully he's dead now and he don't flop around like he was. But you never know. He still could be alive. And you don't know how. After you cut them open. Go down the spine. Oh, he's still alive. He's still flopping. How is he still alive? <laughs> I don't know. Man, our fish. You can't get no fresher than that, man. I don't even know if I can show this on TikTok, to be honest with you. But it's just filleting fish. I don't see why not. You ever had walleye? No, walleye are delicious. If you never had it, I suggest you go buy some or catch some. Another fillet. Another fillet. The best part is the cheek. The cheek meat is delicious. Cheek meat. Cheek meat. <clears throat> That's one down. Almost down. Take it right off the skin. Just fillet down. <clears throat> fillet down the skin. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> There's the skin. So now you have two fillets. One, two, and two cheek meats. Cheek meats. Let me show you a little trick. This is called zippering. Put a little cut and pull this like this. And all that is bone and bad meat. Water. 
and I chunk mine into chunks. Put it in the water. Then you do the same thing with this boy. Cut a little triangle. And you pull this, just like that. That's where all the mercury in a fish goes. Bones, the bad meat. Then you have two pieces of filet. Cut it. Cut it. Then we take the next one, fresh caught today. Teeth, teeth. Got some teeth. Teeth. Do the same thing. They're alive too, they're alive. They're still alive. Can't get no fresher than that. Go and cheat. Cheek me. Then you flip it over. Do the same thing. <clears throat> Go down the backbone. These are male wallers, these are jacks they call them. Cheek me. And then this fish is done. Throw them in the bag. 
pan. You take your fillets. And you fillet it off the skin. I need an electric knife. Anybody want to donate an electric knife? I need an electric knife. And then you have skin. Goes in the trash. Then again, zipper. Take and cut a triangle. And you just peel it. You can do this with any fish, by the way. Peel it, that's where all the bad stuff is in a fish. You can do that with any fish. <clears throat> and it leaves you with the bottom half and the top half. Chunk it up. <clears throat> Same thing. I got six fish, guys, by the way. Our limit here is six a day. Oh, that time it came off. Try it again. Bad meat. <clears throat> then a fillet. That was two done, that quick. We got another one. Little teeth. <laughs> well, I see how the eye glows. Not a bad fish. Knife sharpening. I asked, where are you sharpening? Yes, I am. I guess you do catch fish every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. I just finally got to get out. I've been working 12-hour days. I got six today. Limit six. Here's another one. Not a bad fish. Larry, what is your max that you got? Another one? What? What is your max? My max? That's all you can get is six. I mean, I caught more. I threw some back. Let people bring them in. Oh, so you can only have six? Yeah, you can only keep six. But I helped out a couple people to get their fish. Thank you, sir. Finally got out. I'm glad. Been a while. Return to Virgil in the glowing sea in the Rocky Cave. You been out? You been out fishing at all? I looked for your live the one day. I didn't see it. I can't get out. 
Told you, man. I get out there, I get them fish. You see my video with the catfish the other from Saturday. I tried walleye fishing Saturday because I was off and I didn't, uh, I didn't have no luck. But I see my Facebook, everybody was catching, so I had to get out there. I was glad I got off today. Things are full of full of white stuff. Filet. Cheek meat, I think, is the best. They call them mommy scouts. Mommy, mommy river scallops right there. I should have bled these fish out. It's crazy. They're bleeding. <clears throat> I have never. Oh man! If you if your store has it, get some. If you can go to like Kroger or store, it's kind of expensive to buy. I think it's like thirteen to seventeen dollars a pound. At the stores usually. But of course I don't have to buy it. I just go catch it. But walleye is super good. You can get them. You could probably get them at your fish market for sure. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is go to the fish market. I'm sure they'll have them. I'll tell you what, once you get some walleye, you're gonna love it because walleye is amazing. It's not a fishy fish. It's just unique. It's hard to explain. It's not like cod or pollock or any of that. Super good, super good. I'll try some one day. I'm telling you, go try try your fish store. You probably have it. I know here, like if you go to the store here to get it, it's like uh, it's like thirteen, anywhere between thirteen to fifteen dollars a pound when you buy it. Eh, crappie's got more of a sweeter flavor to me, I think. Have you ever had yellow perch? It's part of the pickerel family. You have a uh, saw guy there or sauger. That's the family, same family, pike, perch, sauger, saugai, walleye, it's all the same. Forgive me on my uh, butchering skills here, I'm not, a, I'm not a butcher, I work, I work in a factory, so. <laughs> here I do cutting towards me and not away from me probably not a good idea good idea 
Another filet. And there's the cheek. And then this fish is done. <clears throat> so now I just got a skinny. Do you have saw guy? Or sauger there. Pickerel. A lot of times they're called pickerel. This is a pickerel family. Walleye is in the pickerel family. Pike. Pike, walleye, muskie, perch. Um, they're all in the same family. And then, teach you another trick. And that leaves you with two fillets. Remember, you can do that. You can do that with any fish. Ooh, that's got some bone in it. We don't like that. We just cut that right out of there. That whole piece. <clears throat> Sauger. Once in a while we catch pickerel. Well, pickerel, pickerel is the same thing, I'm pretty sure. But that's basically what walleye tastes like. It's the same thing. as It's in the pickerel family. It's a white flaky meat. It's like, like when you cook it, it flakes. It's not like, not like catfish or... Uh, anything like that. It's more of a white flaky fish. But if you had pickerel, then you you most likely had walleye because it's the same thing. Same family. Super good, super, super good. But if you start zippering your fish like this, they, we call it zippering. And you get all that fishiness out. This is where all the fishy flavor is in all fish. Always rub it to make sure there's no bones in it. Tacos. They make the best tacos. Tacos. <clears throat> Whew, that's a lot of work. I only did three fish. Little toothy guys, toothy. <clears throat> Not a bad. They're pretty fish. They're pretty. The eye, see the eye glow. They got the sharp dorsal fin. They're pokey, like a bluegills. <clears throat> Try to open his mouth so you can look in there. <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> Super delicious fish. Super delicious. I usually I usually bleed them out before I bring them home, but I was in a hurry because it was getting late. Cut their gills, let them bleed out, and then when you get home, there's really no mess, no blood. And I was in a hurry to get home today. I was running late. I'm not the best filleter, that's for sure. I don't know, you could rate my fillet job, I guess. Definitely not the best, that's for sure. What's up? What's up, that dude? Ow! Dang, man. That's why I said these, these fins, super sharp. They are walleye. They look just like walleye. What the pickerel do? If if it's if it's the pickerel, it is walleye. It's, you probably you probably just call them pickerel where you're at. No, Xander. Oh, Xander. Oh, I never, I never heard of that. We don't have them here, as far as I know. I don't think so. Unless you guys just call walleye something different there. I wanted, to, I wanted to go, I wanted to video some videos today while I was fishing, but uh, it was raining. I was actually fishing in the rain. <clears throat> and I don't think my phone would do pretty good in the rain. Ohio. Cheek meat up by Lake Erie. We're known for we're known for our walleye spawn. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Where I live at. We're like the capital of We're the capital of the walleye spawn. We get fish from everywhere from Lake St. Clair, Lake Michigan, Canada, they all run up our river during the spawn. And then we get over a million fish that come up our river, not including what's in the lake. Two left after this one. Getting that bad stuff out of there. So you got the fourth one? Walleye well, capital of the world. Yes, sir. That's us. That is definitely us. That's what I was trying to say. I was watching people catch fish today. Unbelievable. It was on fire today. I've never seen it as hot as it was today. And I've been walleye fishing a long time. <clears throat> it was just unbelievable today. They were catching limits this morning. Done at 8.30, like light. You too, buddy.
and they were catching fish crazy today. I've never seen it like that. It was on fire. Even in the rain. It was pouring. So, I got my fish. Figured I'd get on here and show you guys that I do I do fish. <laughs> They just they just started up this is like the first big push of fish this is like the first big push we just got here we just got some rain the river was super super low and I tried Saturday with no luck and then the past couple days I've been seeing people catching limits like crazy and it just just started so if you're trying to come up Right about now is the time to get up here. Or wherever you're from. <clears throat> yeah, they just started. They they usually start way earlier than this. They usually start about uh, uh second week of March usually they start coming in. Depending on the weather, but for some reason, it started off slow. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but now that they're on, they're super. Dang fish! What are you doing? This fish is over here shaking in the sink. <clears throat> oh yeah, what part of Kentucky? I used to live I used to live in Tennessee. I used to live down on by Norris Lake. I love I love that area. If you ever catch walleye or you walleye, you gotta make sure you get the cheeks. The best part. If you ask me. <clears throat> Boone County, Northern Kentucky. Okay, okay. I, I think I've been through that area. But I live up by the Maumee River, which is where I caught these today. And there was quite a few people there. Usually a lot of people don't get out till like first, second week of April, which my birthday is the eighth, so I will be out there. Probably not on the eighth because I'm planning a birthday trip, but but I'll be out there sometime that week. Probably earlier in the week. Bad meat. Remember that. From Georgia. Just got back from the Marines. Oh, that's cool. Thanks for your service. Uh, six. We get six now. Last year they moved it up to six. It was four. Uh, it's, it's a walleye. Easy. 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 They're walleye. Show you this is what they look like. <clears throat> Little teeth. No, thank you. My uh, my daughter's a marine. She is in Hawaii actually. <clears throat> She's stationed in Hawaii. <clears throat> Wash my hands off a little bit. Uh, 
better than Rings. Um, I think she's been working on three years now. She's only doing four years, I think. She's been there two and a half or three. She's a big equipment operator over there. That's about as far as I know. I don't know much about it. I know she does a lot of partying. She does a lot of partying, I know that. <laughs> No, no problem, no problem. You should, if you can, you should get up here. Like I said, it's just starting. Fish number five. Try to make it up there. Yeah, you know you got till usually mid-April, depending on the weather. But unless you you got a boat, if you got a boat, you can get them in the lake probably June. You could do a charter. Charters cost too much. That's why I just go in the river and do it. I mean, there's walleye in there all year round, but like right now it's on fire like you can fish literally six seven foot of water oh that's yeah you got a boat you let me know if you come up here <laughs> jigging is the best i'd rather if i had a boat i would be on the lake jigging instead of in the river because in the river you got a thousand guys shoulder to shoulder I posted a video a little while back. You can go in my videos and see. There's a drone video and it shows you how the man, how everybody's lined up on the river. But if you've been here, you know. But that drone video probably pretty much explains it. Yeah, I appreciate you coming checking out my live, though, for real. I don't get many people checking out my lives because I don't really do a lot on my lives. I just talk talk about fishing, but now I actually got some fish, so now I'm out here cleaning fish on live. Where, what part? Like around the lake area? Some people are probably like, oh my god, he's just butchering that fish. He's butchering that poor fish. Oh yeah, that's 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 Sandusky. That's where Cedar Point is at. We're also the roller coaster capital of the world. <laughs> I can get there in like an hour and a half from where I live at. To Cedar Point. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'll go there this summer. COVID lets us. Last year they had so many restrictions for Cedar Point, it was crazy. 
Like you had to like le le legitly like uh you had to like legitly I love being a marine, it was so much fun. I had a blast, but they were so stupid. Shit we had to do. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I wanted to be a marine when I was younger, but I never I never really went. I ended up doing other things. I should have did that. I should have did that for sure. <clears throat> clean toilet with a toothbrush. You had to clean toilets with a toothbrush. <laughs> Hopefully not your toothbrush. <laughs> That's what I just said. Hopefully not your toothbrush. You have to use your toothbrush. Yeah, I'm sure she'll have stories. I don't get to talk to her much. She's always busy. Well, she tells me she's busy. Where was you stationed at? Just cleaning walleye, guys. North Carolina. Nice, nice, nice. No problem, Mark. Get up this way. Let me know. I'll put you on some fish. Ain't that like where boot camp is, too? Or is that North Carolina? Then went to Japan for six months. Yeah, she she uh that's where she said she was gonna go at first was Japan. That's what she told me she was going to Japan and then she ended up going to Hawaii. So this is a very white meat. I don't know if you can tell on the camera because it looks pink, but it's super white. How was Japan? I've never been. That's why I told her. I said, I said, girl, you're so you're young enough. Go travel the world. They gonna pay for it. Go everywhere. But now she just I think she's over it. She was excited at first. I don't think she really cares for it. It's so cool. Lots of short people. <laughs> hey, I can't say much about short people. I'm pretty short myself. <laughs> I'm only like five six, so. <laughs> but she's like five eleven. Then her brother, he's uh he's like six three. They don't get it from me. I'm too short for that. If you believe in it, oh I know I said that earlier probably. I said that I said I should have bled him out before I uh. No, I'm in, uh, I'm by the Maumee River, Northwest Ohio. I'm not, I'm not actually in Fremont. <clears throat> I did say that though. I said, but I was in a hurry. I should have bled him out, but I was in a hurry to get home because it was getting late and I got work tomorrow and I knew I had to clean them. I have fished, I have fished the Fre Sandusky River. I fished the uh, Maumee River. Wesley. I don't know where that's at, really. I think I've heard of it. My last one, guys. Last one. What time is it? Oh, it didn't take me that long. I thought it was going to take me longer than that. But yeah, I usually do bleed them out. Just west of Cleveland. Oh, okay, okay. Do you hit the mommy at all? Or do you just go to Fremont? Fremont. Fremont got good fishing. 
I've been there. It's not it's not as good as the uh mommy, but it's good. I haven't been to I haven't been to Fremont in a long time. It's been it's been some years. I've been there a few times though. Fish there run. Theirs usually starts before ours too. They usually start seeing fish before we do. If that's what you're talking about. Fish everywhere. <clears throat> nice. Nice, nice. I want to fish everywhere. <laughs> Take me with you. I'll go. I'm always looking to fish. My girl got her license and waders this year. Got her a pole. She hasn't had time to get out. I just finally got out today. I mean, I've been out a few times, but finally just got fish today, I should say. Okay, man. In here. What, uh, walleye? In the, oh, in the Huron River. I was just watching a YouTube video about that. At work the other day, well, listening to it while I was working, they were talking about the Huron River. I thought that was close to, I thought that was close to us. <clears throat> I gotta clean this board a little bit. It's a little, a little nasty. Where's the Huron? One at a time. You know how it is. Oh, I know. That's what I was saying. I've been working. The past five weeks, I've been working 12-hour days. And today, finally, my supervisor was like, you can go. I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I was off Saturday. I, I was off Saturday. I tried to go Saturday, but I uh, there wasn't there wasn't no luck. Nobody was catching any. But this this week, once that weather warmed up, boy, they've been in there. Yeah, I definitely know that time. That sucks. I think COVID, I think COVID ruined a lot. Like everybody's busy. It's good to be short. Wish I was short. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Being short ain't too bad. I've been short my whole life, but it's it, it's it's not as fun as being tall though. How tall are you? I guess you're like 6'4 or something. My buddy, he was a Marine. He's 6'4. Big dude. I'm too tall. <laughs> Six seven. Jesus. You're a damn giant. You ain't tall. You a giant. I catch them from you. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. I, I, uh, I've only known my area. I ain't really went nowhere else. I should. I know. Do you get in that fall brawl in the in the fall? I wanted to do that this year. <clears throat> this is my last one. Thank God. I love catching them, but I hate cleaning them. Six, seven. That's you like Andre the Giant, dude. Keeping wings and cheeks. Oh, I, I don't do the wings, but I do definitely do the cheeks. I definitely do the cheeks. So I was just telling them. I said, cheeks are, to me, one of the best parts of the fish. They're so full of uh, white stuff right now. And I am not the best filleter. I'm taking donations for a uh, electric fillet knife, by the way. <laughs> no, I wish I was sure. Can't even find shoe sizes. Dang, dude. I wear a 10. We wear like a 14 or something. 
You just gotta cut a cow in half, put the cow on your feet. Keep up the good work. Definitely, thank you. 15, thanks for stopping in. Dang, 15, you got some big old feet. You, want, you can always borrow a knife and just cut half your foot off. Last one. Last one. Yes, please. <laughs> so you 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 done with the Marines now or what? Cheek meat. Are you gonna you gonna retire from the Marines? That's what I wish she would have did. Made a career out of it. Monday. Oh wow, so you fresh out. You uh you gonna re enlist? She uh I think when she's done, she's done. She says she ain't going back. I don't know why she lives in Hawaii. I mean I would love to live in Hawaii. Is there like a retirement with the reserves? I don't know much about it. That was the last fish, guys. Thank God. So now, you got a bucket of fish that we're gonna drain and re-add water to. Rinse it all out. I really want to be a part of the SWAT team. What uh, what state you from? Cause I know usually like that's the best best choice to be a marine to become a cop. Cause don't you got to go through? You probably gonna have to go through uh police training and all that, don't you? dangerous man I don't know Chicago that's a dangerous state what part of Georgia I got family that lives in uh, Ellenwood You're in Ellenwood? That's crazy. <clears throat> Small world. I'm 
I'm just rinsing the fish now. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, they've lived there for quite a long time. My aunt, my uncle, he passed away back in like 94, I think it was. He owned a vending machine company down there. Walleye. Walleye. I, would, I, I don't have any to show you now. I just cleaned it all, but... Right now, they're running in our river spawning. Larry. What's up, bud? Nice. You going to bed? Yeah. All right. Nine o'clock? It's nine. Yeah, I know. It's ten right now. It's ten? Oh, I keep thinking man, we never re <laughs> we never did that sound, that clock. Yeah, I'm about to clean up and probably take my butt to bed too. <clears throat> Walleye, walleye, walleye. Best fish in the world. Best fish in the world. Now I gotta clean up. Clean my mess up. She wakes up and sees a mess, she's gonna kill me. Don't wake your mama, she's sleeping. going to bed all right well thanks for stopping in on my live checking me out i appreciate it appreciate everybody i don't get many people online but i don't do very much interesting things either i think filleting fish was kind of interesting i see i got people to stay what's up no because i'm gonna be going to bed too no i did it I'll get it. I'll close everything up. I just want to clean up. I'll put my desk on the turn. Yeah, definitely. Follow me. I uh next nice day I'll be out there while I'm fishing. I'm gonna try to go live and do some video while I'm catching them. I wanted to today, but it was raining. Thanks for the hug, bud. Thanks for the hug. I guess I'm loved around here. So now, let's dry my hands off. This is the finished product. <laughs> Thanks for joining guys I am gonna go take a shower now And go to bed Cause I gotta work But I'll be back More fish probably for sure Enjoy your night. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking in. Peace, guys. <laughs>